One of the most beautiful and interesting historic properties in Martinsburg, Boydville, the uh, Georgian mansion on Queen Street was ordered to be burned down during the Civil War. Mary Boyd Faulkner, the daughter of Elisha Boyd, managed to get an exemption from Abraham Lincoln an hour before that was to happen. That area, the Boydville Historic District, which includes the Boydville Mansion built by Elisha Boyd, plus several other notable homes, are part of the interesting history of Martinsburg. I'm gonna talk about the Boydville Historic District. So next time you're over that way, it hopefully will have a little more meaning. And by the way, this information is from the Boydville website, plus a few other sites uh, with history about this area. I'm Jana Classy. My husband, Paul, and I are realtors here in the Eastern Panhandle. The Boydville Historic District runs from just south of downtown including uh, the 400 through 600 block of Queen Street. It's bordered on the east by Spring Street and includes all of the Boydville grounds, including the Norborn Cemetery just off South Street, which uh, backs up to the Boydville estate. Adam Stevens, the Revolutionary War General, laid out the cemetery in 1778, same year he established the city of Martinsburg. He sold the land for Boydville, about 300 acres, to a general, Elisha Boyd, for $290. Elisha Boyd completed the mansion in the fall of 1812, and that's when the family moved in. And thankfully, it has been well preserved. He willed the property to his daughter, Virginia Boyd Faulkner, and it remained in the family until it was sold in 1958. Today, Boydville, the inn at Martinsburg, is a popular venue for weddings. And information about that can be found at boydville.com. Most of the original Boyd family members are buried in the Norborn Cemetery, which at that time was part of the Boydville estate. There's many prominent people from this area uh, buried there. That cemetery currently is owned by Trinity Episcopal Church. There's a cottage on the edge of the Boydville grounds that Elisha Boyd used as a law office. It's right next to the Norborn Cemetery. And a few years back, the Snyder Bailey offices were in that same cottage. So I learned it was uh, considered to be haunted from a client I met there. They were just on a ghost tour that pointed out our offices, saying that on occasion, a light would go on and off in the middle of the night in a room upstairs. So I don't know, I spent a lot of time there. I never saw anything. Elisha Boyd divided a portion of the original land into lots and sold it, them to wealthy families who built some magnificent homes. It became uh, known as Millionaire's Row and the Boydville Historic District. There are several notable homes on the historic registry in that area, and here's a few of them. Five Seventeen uh, South Queen was owned by George Bowers. The huge columns on the house came from the Treasury uh, Building in Washington, D.C. W.H. Crawford built this home at 505 South Queen. It's a neoclassical revival brick with huge Corinthian columns on stone pedestals. He established the Crawford Woolen Mill, which employed quite a few uh, people. That's the building on the corner of Raleigh and Stephen Street, now part of the Berkeley County Judicial Center. 600 Queen Street was built by H.C. Berry in 1890 and it has been restored to maintain the architectural details of the time, beautifully restored. It's currently for sale, and you can find out more about that on our website, meetmeinthepanhandle.com. So uh, there you have it, a little bit about the very interesting part of Martinsburg, the Boydville Historic District. This whole area has a lot of interesting history, beautiful old buildings, um, homes. It's an interesting place to live and it's a very interesting place to visit. 
there uh, is a video right over there on the right that goes a little bit um, into more detail about Martinsburg. So uh, you can watch that. And um, I thank you for tuning in. And uh, if you would, subscribe, hit the like button. Really helps the algorithm. Okay, <laughs> thanks. And I will see you next week. Bye.